sequence, trying not to see it. Need some bliss in the turbulence. I'm praying on the weekdays, drowning in the weekends. All the shallow, shallow friends are mine. Hey you guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here today for a clean with me slash disinfect with me because yet again we got sick. I feel like I'm saying this every other week because at this point I actually am and even as I record this voiceover, she's sick again. My daughter's sick again so I'll be taking her to the doctor tomorrow so keep us in your prayers y'all. I don't know what's going on but I feel like ever since COVID, our immune systems are like so out of whack and all of my friends' kids are sick. My kid is sick. It's crazy. But anyways, I just changed the sheets to the bed because again, we were sick and I'm probably going to need to do this again. But um, at this point, we were feeling better and then I'm just going to be wiping everything down with a disinfecting wipe and then doing some laundry, going downstairs, getting all the floors disinfected as well as getting the kitchen together. Nothing big because as you can see, I was still a little bit sick in this video. I'm a mess. I didn't do laundry for days and that's why I'm wearing like an old sweatshirt with paint stains on it. Don't judge me. I was still going through it but just trying to get things done because we were already feeling better. But before I get on with the rest of the video, I did want to thank Avenco. I hope I'm saying that right for sponsoring today's video. They sent me this queen size mattress and I actually tried on this same day to put this out, but then I figured out that um, it needed to rise for 72 hours. So I'll show you guys that in a bit. But I absolutely love this mattress. We needed a new mattress because I had so many. <laughs> this is like a toddler mom thing um, who co-sleep pea stains on my other mattress. So I was so excited when they reached out. And it's a hybrid mattress, which me and my husband love because we've tried the all foam mattress that was way too soft. And we actually enjoy a mixture of both the spring and the other layers. We have their original mattress and we have been loving it. It's like a pillow when you first lay on it. And I love the cooling gel because I get so hot when I'm sleeping. But they have other mattresses and if you're interested, they have amazing prices and a deal going on with their 10 inch queen mattress. So I'll leave all their information in the description box. Thank you again to Avenco for sponsoring today's video. Anyways, now I do this weekly and usually I'll get my husband's laundry done before my own or my daughter's. I actually get their laundry done before me. Let me know if it's not just me or if it's a mom thing but you always put everybody else ahead of yourself but um he does like work every single day he goes through a lot of clothes so i always make his laundry a priority so given that i hadn't done laundry in so long i just put some of his clothes to wash really quick before i went downstairs and cleaned the kitchen Nobody knows but I As I'm cleaning, I did want to just chat with you guys. You know me, I'm always chatting, but um, yeah, I really need to do one of my little vent slash chatting videos where I just chat throughout the entire video, but this is not that. Just giving you guys an update. I told you guys in one of my last videos that I started BetterHelp, and that's been a process. Um, I just want to say if you're going to sign up for better help or just go for therapy at all after struggling a while like me, don't expect like miracles and rainbows right away. I ended up actually clashing with my first therapist. She was really judgmental. Um, I won't get into it, but yeah, it just wasn't a good fit. And then I ended up getting another one and I'm not sure how I feel about her either just because she suggested something way too quickly in the first session and I don't know I'm really so and then I, I just read about like picking therapists in general that is actually like a shopping spree at first you have to keep trying until you find the right one so 
Um, I just wanted to update you guys that it was a little discouraging, but I'm going to keep trying. The, the few sessions that I did have so far did push me to do things. Like I finally signed up for a gym. I found a gym that does daycare. I am so amazed. I didn't know that I like I stopped going to the gym for so long because I, I was always wondering like, oh my gosh, what if gyms had a daycare? That would be perfect. And I had no idea that they do now. And so I found one. I had talked about it this with my therapist. She said that exercise is, well, my previous therapist, she has said that exercise was really good for stress and anxiety and depression and all that stuff. So it did push me to do that. It pushed me to go back to church. So the sessions did help me in a way where I was like, okay, if therapy is not going to help me, then I need to do other stuff to just get my mind active and get out of this house. But um, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys in case anybody else decided okay this year I'm gonna try therapy don't expect miracles and rainbows at first have patience don't let your first encounter or even second or third encounter with a therapist that you didn't match well with kind of um, ruin your experience with therapy or discourage you from continuing to try to work on your mental health and looking for help and seeking that help because it is a huge step and I just don't want anybody that I mentioned this to that may have gotten motivated to go ahead and go for therapy um to expect that it's just this great thing that starts working right away that you click with your therapist right away and everything is just like a miracle because it's not that way but um on that note I am continuing to try to better my mental health and I hope you guys are too so now I'm just going to deep clean my floors because as you can see in that shot that I showed you guys they were trash I showed you guys um all that dirt that was there in that particular section of my kitchen but that was literally all my floors because I hadn't cleaned them in so long so I decided to vacuum them really really well and then do a deep like clean on them so I u- pulled out my fabuloso the antibacterial one which is good because again we were sick and then I also threw a dish pot in there which is something that I learned from TikTok if you ever watch like my TikTok hacks um cleaning video I that's one of my favorite videos because I, I've learned so much from then but yeah uh, it went viral at first with the laundry detergent but it actually leaves streaks on your floor so the dish pods work way way better and they just give your floor that extra feeling of cleanness so my floors and my house felt so clean after this so i definitely recommend when you want to give a deep clean to add a dish pod to your water All right, you guys, and now to end the video, I'm just going to throw in one of my really quick dinner recipes or ideas that I've been doing on these videos just because I've been getting asked for more recipes because I share them on Instagram, but I stopped doing them here on YouTube. So on this night, I'm just doing turkey burgers. We don't eat a lot of beef in this house, so whenever I do burgers or stuff like that, I tend to use ground turkey. And all I do is season it, so I, I, I'll add garlic powder, adobo, cumin, um, all like the basic seasonings and then a little bit of breadcrumbs and I'll make those into burgers and then I'm also going to be making this with some home fries and I literally just, um, so I'll microwave two potatoes, I'll peel them and microwave them on the potato settings. I only do two because it's me and my husband. And then I'll saute them with some seasonings, with some green pepper, whatever pepper I have in the fridge, and some onion. And it is so, so good with these burgers. And then I'll add a pickle. So a super easy meal idea on a lazy day, especially on a day like today where I was feeling sick. I was just now recovering and I had very little energy and I did all this stuff this on this day. So I was just looking for a quick and easy thing to do. So just sharing with you guys that and yeah, I'm sorry that my videos lately have been so short. I've gotten a few comments that um, um, you'll leave really sweet comments saying, oh, I love your videos, but they're so short. So I know and I'm sorry. I've been trying to get back into the groove of things ever since my husband 
got out the hospital. The end of 2022 going into 2023 has not been easy. So many things have been happening from my husband's hospitalization to we keep getting sick and we had COVID too. And it's just like, I can't get a break. Your girl cannot catch a break. So I'm trying the best I can. It's really hard to make lengthy videos. I mean, I do speed my videos up quite a bit. Um, just because I don't like like slow paced videos. I know some people will do the same amount of content as me But then they don't speed it up as much. So it's just a longer video, but um, yeah, you can let me know if you guys Do want me to do that? Like don't speed the video so much so that I, you have like more time talking to me or whatever I can do that but in terms of like creating longer content filming for longer periods of time I'm trying you guys but Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I do have another one coming for you guys next week, God willing, as always. So I'll see you guys then and take care.